Hello viewers of Biotechnica, this is Caroline Green. Today's video is going to be a very helpful video because I'll be talking in this video about the fully funded PhD fellowship or scholarship that you should never miss during this year from 2023 to 2024. So what are the tentative dates that will be coming? What are the most important scholarship or the PhD fellowship that you can apply to? So we have a separate video on the scholarship or the fellowship separately. But here I'm going to talk about the most important scholarship that will be on the line this year. So I'm going to talk about the complete topic in detail. So first let's talk about some of the scholarships which are very important and you should never miss the scholarship. So if you wanted to know about each of the scholarship we have separate video you can just go and look on to that one also. So first let me talk about the first scholarship which is going to be uh, the Commonwealth Government Research Training Program for Australian and international students. So since we come under uh, international category so even Indians are also eligible to apply for this one so if anybody wanted to know about this scholarship you can go to this website and you can start applying and it's a fully funded PhD scholarship and this scholarship is for master students also since we are talking about the PhD programs I'm just highlighting onto this fellowship also and the tentative actually varies but we may expect that uh, coming this year so you can apply for this scholarship the next one is going to be Chinese government scholarship anybody wanted to do their PhD in a Chinese laboratory or China laboratories then you can look for this one so this is a website uh, Chinese scholarship council.com and you can go to CSE portal account and you can actually look into this one and you can apply for scholarship amount category A, B and C. You can apply if you can avail uh, most of your scholarship by yourself then you can take category A. If not you can choose category B and C. And the eligibility criteria you should be an international candidate. 35 years you have to be and you can be bachelor's degree and master's degree you can apply for. And the application deadline usually for January to April and this scholarship is also available for master's also and it's going to be the duration of funding will be for almost according to the PhD like four to five years or for masters it's going to be two to three years. Next is Edinburgh uh, Global Research Scholarship and it's the website is going to be this one. So you can go to Edinburgh Global Research Scholarship if you type in you'll get it and it's a fully funded PhD one and you can expect this scholarship uh, notification coming by February month. So we may expect it within a month. So please do look around this scholarship which will be coming on the line also. The next is most prestigious scholarship which is Fulbright uh, Foreign Student Scholarship Program at USA. If anybody is wishing to study PhD at USA then this is a wonderful scholarship so this is the website you can go to this website and you can check you can study in USA University in United States of America and last time we expected uh, we had this by May 2022 uh, so we may also expect it at the month of May so you can look around by March April and May during this period of time you can look for this scholarship if anybody is looking for fully funded PhD programs at USA and they also provide a fellowship for masters since I'm very uh, restricted to PhD I'm telling Fulbright is also for PhD students if anybody wanted to study at Australia then there's a scholarship called Australian Government Scholarship for Foreign Students which is going to be 2023. So we can expect this. So this is a research training program only which means it is for PhD only and it is going to be a fully coverage or full funded PhD program and the university is going to be Griffith University. So Griffith University is providing this Australian Government Research Training Program scholarship and you are going to study at Australia and usually you can expect it every year September month so which means we solidly have a lot of time and this is Australian uh, dollars of 28,854 uh, you may expect for every year. So this is for Australian students from Griffith University and the next is Concordia University at the United uh, in Canada. And this is a scholarship in Canada which is fully funded. It is in Canada and this is going to be the website. So if anybody wanted to look around for Concordia University, of course, mas masters are very much uh, Concordia University is very much collaborated with a lot of Indian universities also. So they do have for PhD fundings also and you can study at Canada and the university is going to be Concordia University at Canada. The degree level is going to be in Concordia. There's bachelor's, master's and I'm 
very specifically highlighting on to PhD program, diploma or certificate program is also available and they used to provide all the financial coverages. Suppose let's talk in for four years of it, 14,000 Canadian dollars for one year they're going to provide you from Concordia University. So Concordia University is the best place for PhD if you want to take up your PhD at Canada. The next is if anybody wants to go for Romania, then you can take up fully funded government of Romania scholarship for the international student. So this is the website. You can go to this website. You can look around. And this is the country which is Romania. And here you can pursue your PhD, master's and undergraduate. So I'm highlighting onto the PhD program. And the financial coverage, it is also going to be a funding one. So if anybody is looking on to Romania or Canada or Australia or USA or UK or China or whatever it is, these are the scholarships. So I've just highlighted most of the scholarship around the world globally I've taken. So accordingly, you can choose according to the country of your interest. If you specifically wanted a very spe uh, specific country or anything, you can just put it in the comment section. We'll look into it. The next one is DART Scholarship in Germany. Definitely everybody knows about it. If anybody wanted to know about the DART Scholarship, you can go to this website where a lot of PhD positions are available. To be very specific, if anybody wanted to go for Amazon Biotechnology also, it's available. MS PhD programs are also available. So you can go to DART Scholarship or DART website is available. And this is the scholarship amount that you can get and the degree of course it's going to be PhD even ma masters is also available for PhD programs as well as masters program and application deadline usually by August September you can expect so you can definitely apply for DART scholarship also and the most important prestigious one in the UK is Gates Cambridge scholarship so Gates Cambridge scholarship is also very very good for masters and PhD so we'll talk about PhD program so this is the website if you want to go in for you can go to the website and you can check on to this one uh, you will find a lot of information available there and this is given by Gates Cambridge trust and they have PhD degrees so you can apply this scholarship and you can avail your PhD position also and the scholarship amount is usually 18 thousand uh, dollars you will be getting stipend euros you'll be getting stipend for one year it might be variable also and the deadline is going to be variable so the course usually starts by October 2023 which means uh, some of the most of the things are over like last year itself like October and December 2022 and some positions are available uh, by January so usually you will expect these things from Gates Cambridge portal getting open by October or by November so you can look around to that time that period of time suppose if anybody wanted to go for Australia apart from Australian government scholarship for foreign students so there's a university called Monarch University so they also provide a scholarship exclusively by the university you can go and apply for the PhD program so this is the website very specifically I've given here and you can study in Australia and this is Monarch University Monarch University and this is for PhD program and the scholarship total value will be around 33,000 Australian dollars according to January 2023 is given and the application will be accepted four rounds for one year. I'm going to talk about for international candidates and for domestic candidates. So we all fall under international candidates. So we'll have an intake of about two times in a year. So international round one will be opening by September every year. So you have to make into consideration. So by this, if you're applying for next year, then you have to start applying by September and another round three will be by April month also. This is for domestic candidates for Australia Australian candidates they'll be conducting this is for international candidates so if anybody wishing to go for Australia you can definitely go in for Monash University graduate scholarship if anybody is looking for an opportunity or PhD positions in Switzerland, then I'm going to tell you Swiss Government Excellence Scholarship. We have a separate video on Switzerland also. You can look onto this. So this Swiss Government Excellence Scholarship, this is the website. You can study in Switzerland. And it is awarded in three different uh, organizations, we can say. One is Swiss Cantonal Universities, University of Applied Sciences, and two Federal Institute of Technology. So under these universities, there are different universities which will form under so we have a video on that you can look around to that one and you can check into this and the award is going to be monthly payment will be almost uh, Swiss francs of about 1920 
we can say and the application procedure is going to be like this way so usually uh, you may expect this starting from the early august so by 2023 you can expect by august month and it goes till uh, the next september you can just start your a scholarship the next one is just scholarship this is for south korea if anybody is looking for an opportunity in south korea then you can go for this one so gist scholarship and it is for south korea and this is for phd position only and they're going to provide you a stipend of uh, 2,95,000 won and the application deadline we can expect it by april 15th of 2023 so april month it is going to be over so you can look around to this just scholarship if anybody is looking for phd positions at south korea the next one is going to be all of course singapore is a major thing which provides very wonderful opportunity for phd position and it's going to be very very competing also which is singa fellowship uh, this is a very very nice fellowship we can say if you anybody wanted to know about this you can go to this website and you can look around the host country is going to be singapore and you can work in a star laboratories research laboratory because the one who actually funds uh, most of the a things are going to be A star only. So A star research laboratory or NTU or National University of Singapore or STUD, you can go and work in their laboratory. And this fellowship is offered by a star which is agency for science technology research at singapore and here you can pursue your phd and the application deadline is by june month so you have to be ready with all your protocols your um, transcripts your documents everything before june month itself and the stipend is going to be this one so you can see the tuition fees they're going to give you it is usually for four years in singapore and they're going to give you uh, almost uh, 2200 uh, singaporean dollars and uh, 2000 700 singaporean dollars it can be variable and airfare will be given settling in allowances your food your accommodation your transport everything will be taken care of by the uh, a star itself so this is a very competing one but it's a wonderful um, fellowship that you can opt in singapore so if anybody is looking for germany you can definitely go for dart scholarship and there are many more but i've listed some of the important one and uh, uk you can definitely take up gates cambridge scholarship or edinburgh global research scholarship and if anybody is wishing as well as commonwealth you can go for uk and australia also and fulbright definitely for us us you can go for monarch university and australian government scholarship you can go for australia switzerland and i've talked about south korea and the uh, singapore and romania canada and of course china i've talked about so these are some of the uh, most important scholarship that will be coming on the line by 2023 to 2024 uh, you can start applying there are different requirements for each of the scholarship check on to that and you can just start applying you can just make a note of all the deadlines and what are the documents that is required is uh, some of the university ask for gre some ask for ielts and toefls so whichever is required write it priorly before you start your application itself so that will be easy for you to process your application and fetch the fellowship also i believe that this video is helpful for you if you find any other information that has to be given from our side you can put it in the comment section we will come up with the answer or we'll make up a video specially for all of you thank you all of you for joining i'm going to meet you back again with another video thank you all of you